What's up? I'm Troubleshoot. Welcome back to another video. In this quick guide, I'll be showing you how to install and use Fabric for Minecraft 1.20. It's a huge update and a huge improvement. Do note that it's pretty close to the release, in fact, just a few hours, and I'm surprised that Fabric has an update out so quickly, but do expect changes and bugs, especially when it comes to mobs. You'll find this bit of detailed information in the description down below telling you about the update, what changes and what could have broken. Mod creators will take a little bit of time to update. Anyway, if we head to the download section, which you'll also find down below, you'll be able to click the download for Windows button here and save the installer, where we can then go ahead and open it up to install Fabric MC. Then making sure you're on the client tab, select 1.20, leave pretty much everything else as default and make sure create profile is turned on, then click install. When you do so, you'll need to download and place the Fabric API in your mods folder. So click this link here. You'll also find it in the description down below and you'll be taken across to the curse form website. Here you'll need to click download for Fabric API and wait for the download to finish. Now when it's done you'll see it in your downloads folder. All we need to do is hold start and press R then type in percentage app data percentage backslash dot Minecraft. When you see it click it and click OK. Now we're in the correct folder where we have Minecraft installed. Head to the mods folder here otherwise if you don't have a mods folder make a new folder using Control shift n or right click new folder and call it mods. Then open it up and we'll drag and drop the jar file that we just downloaded, Fabric API. This is where you'll be placing your mod files for Fabric later. All right, we'll click OK and we can close the installer. Now we can go ahead and fire up Fabric 1.20. Just a quick note, if you fail the install, all you need to do is open the Minecraft launcher and make sure that Minecraft 1.20 down here has at least been downloaded once. So select it, click play, then you should be able to run the installer if you see any issues. And as you can already see, Fabric Loader 1.20 has now appeared, meaning it's successfully installed and we can go ahead and play Minecraft. But I would recommend heading to the installations tab at the very top, then locating Fabric Loader, clicking the three dots next to it, followed by edit and scrolling down more options here. We'll be changing the amount of RAM that we're giving our modded Minecraft. XMX 2G means that Minecraft has a maximum of two gigabytes of RAM that it can use. Opening our task manager with control shift and escape, checking the memory tab on the performance section, you'll see how much RAM you have in your PC. You can only give Minecraft your remaining RAM that's currently not in use. I have a huge amount of RAM, so I can more than happily give it about 16 gigs, making it 16 G. I'll save it and now we can fire up Fabric. I'll tick this box here, understanding that it's a modded client, click play and after a very small download, it should go ahead and launch up. And there we go, just like that, you can see Fabric modded in the bottom left. We've now successfully installed Fabric for Minecraft 1.20 that released today. That's about it for this quick video. I hope you found this useful. My name's been Troubleshoot and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.